fucking traitors. This is how you fucking repay me. You fucking traitors. Stupid fucking people in our fucking community. You think it's a joke and it's a meme and you're gonna hear, you're gonna, oh, why don't you take a chair, sit a chair, be comfortable. Keep being so fucking comfortable in infrared. Oh, grab a seat. Oh, yeah, it's all comfy and cozy, guys. Infrared is already a thing, right? It's all comfy and cozy. It's already a thing. You wanna know what's a meme? Go look at Vosh's subscribers. Go look at his average viewers. Go look at his average viewers. Go look. You want to think you want you think it's a fucking game and it's time to sit down and have dumb fucking circle jerk memes? Go fucking look at Vosh's average viewers. We're fucking nothing right now. We're nothing. And you fucking people fucked us over. Our name isn't on the fucking map. We're not out there. We're not fucking out there. We're nowhere near being out there. What do we have, 150 views? Uh, YouTube's not even on right now. You think we're out there yet? For you to fuck us like this? You dumb fucks. You think I like going on that fucking show? No, we do it to show our power and our fucking strength. We do it because all those people who muted me on that show and all those people who were talking shit to me and all those people who hated us and were seething at us, we, we did it so we would fucking win and prove them wrong. A fucking miracle that something like us could win a fucking show like that makes an impression on people. And you guys fucked it because of some stupid fucking meme you created because you're shrimping for some fucking girl just because she shows some half sympathy toward us. You fucking idiot. This is infrared. You're supposed to vote for infrared. You can have your fucking circle jerk memes when we have 100k fucking subs. Then you can have your insider joke memes. Nobody fucking knows who you are, you fucking loser. Nobody fucking knows who we are. It's a fucking circle jerk insider meme. This shrimping for Aaron is a stupid fucking community insider meme that only 15 fucking people in the world know about. Maybe when we get to 250 subs, you can have this stupid fucking meme and fuck us like how you did to me last night. And you guys humiliated me. I did take that L. Big fucking L. But you know what? At the end of the fucking day, guys, I only started streaming, what, two months ago? And before I was streaming, I was what? I was like a hermit and I was focused on my writings and reading. And I can just go back to that shit. I'm only fucking doing this for you guys. So this is your fucking L, not mine. You guys want to humiliate me and fuck me over when I'm dealing with all these strangers in these panels? Go ahead and fucking do it. You're only fucking yourself up. I could just go back to my private citizen life. You fucking idiot. I'll just go back to my private life. And you'll be alone and fucked and have no one to represent you. I'm only doing this shit for you guys. I want you guys to go fucking go watch our fucking pregame on YouTube and look how fucking pathetic we look. Look, remember what I said? How many times has the chat betrayed me? Never. And that's what you guys fucking did last night. That's what you fucking did last night. You betrayed me for the first time. I'm never going to forget that. And you know what? All the fucking gorillas take the L and take the downfall. Even if you were my supporter, we all suffer from it. Because those fucking shrimps fucked us all and we all have to suffer for it. And I was thinking for a long time, what the fuck am I going to do? And this made me this close to quitting, honestly. And taking like a break for a few weeks just to rethink what the fuck is going on with our stupid fucking fake chimp army. Tiny monkey army. 
We don't have a guerrilla army anymore. Not yet, at least. We got to do some work before we get to our guerrilla army again. Because we don't have that anymore. We just fucking don't. We just fucking don't. We have tiny monkey shrimps. You, but they all came from Lefty Pole. Left, it was Lefty Pole's insider joke meme. These fucking virgin basement dweller shrimps who've never seen a woman in their fucking life losing their shit and losing their mind because Aaron was somewhat sympathetic to us. Oh my god. I, I could imagine my girlfriend being just like that, guys. She's my she's gonna be my girlfriend. Oh yeah, guys. You fucking loser bitch. You remember what I said on the first panel? When they kept asking me about relationships and shit? I said I'm married to the people. I'm married to infrared. That's what I did for you guys. That's what I did for you guys. But how did you repay me, huh? How did you fucking repay me? You went and fucking voted for Aaron. You fucking shrimp, idiot, bitch. That's how you fucking repay me? That's how you fucking repay me? Huh? You fucking weakling? You soy boy weakling? You are a fucking weakling. What kind of fucking weakling voted for Aaron when our show still needs to put its fucking name on the map? And we haven't done that yet, by the way. We're not even close yet. Fucking weaklings. Oh, guys, I'm gonna vote for Aaron. It's gonna be so cute. Oh, it, it doesn't. I saw some fucking idiot when I was replaying the chat. They went, oh, even if, even if Aaron wins, it's a win for us because she's part of the community. No, she's not. There's only one infrared that represents our community, and that's infrared. Aaron is an inside joke that only 15 people fucking know about, and our goal is to grow. To fucking grow. Go fucking look at Vosh's fucking average viewer count, and go fucking look at his subscribers. We're pathetic right now. We're fucking pathetic. We don't even have 200 viewers. Pathetic. We have nothing right now. Nothing. We have fucking nothing. And you guys take it for granted. And you want to get cozy. You want to get cozy and comfy. Shut the fuck up, bitch. We're still a mobile army. And we're still on the march. You're not getting comfy. You're not getting cozy. You're going to keep... Getting pain is what you need. Boot camp is what you fucking need. You need to be getting pain and nothing else. You be cozy when we're at 250k subs. Then you can be cozy. You want to be cozy? Wait till we have a thousand viewers. Then you could be a little bit cozy and kick your legs up. But even then, it's not enough. 1,500 viewers, then you could be cozy. How about that? You want to fucking uh, become a sedentary cuck when we're nomads? You want to become a fucking sedentary farmer? Oh, guys, I'm going to just make myself at home so spacious and comfy. No, bitch. There's a fucking reason our Discord is as toxic as it fucking is. Because I don't want any of you to fucking get comfy. You want to know why I don't want you to get fucking comfy? You want to know why? Because comfy complacency is the law of the gatekeepers. That is where the gatekeepers thrive. And today, you need to learn about the law of the gatekeepers. Because apparently it's not fucking clear enough to you. I'm going to teach you the law of the gatekeepers right now. What is the law of the gatekeepers and why does it keep fucking us and sabotaging us? And why, did the, why was the law of the gatekeepers responsible for all these fucking shrimps and cucks who went and fucking voted for Aaron? Hey, Hobbit meat. Hobbit meat. Come back in nine days, bitch. I, be careful. Don't fucking test me this stream. People dropping like flies, disappearing. Nobody knows where they went. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
And instead of being depressed, and honest to God, this shit genuinely fucking depressed me. Because you guys don't fucking understand that right now we're still a small, marginal, and fringe fucking thing. We're not fucking established, so stop fucking taking us for granted. We're nobodies right now. Nobody fucking knows who we are. All those who megalols on the fucking stream didn't know who the fuck we were until we fucking got there. They still don't know who we are. And us winning is a way for us to prove ourselves. And you guys fuck that because of a fucking inside joke and dumb fucking meme that only 15 people understand. And you're, you're saying, oh, Haz, you just don't like memes. No. It's a bigger meme for us to fucking win given how fucking fringe and marginal we are right now. When you have a fucking perspective outside of your fucking dumb safe space bubble. You fucking gatekeeper bitch. Think in terms of the fucking layman on Twitch, and it's way funnier that we would have won, won yesterday's show. Given the fact that I was muted a bunch of times, they spent hundreds of dollars to mute me, everyone was fucking against me, and imagine if I won anyway. Wouldn't that send the most powerful and biggest fucking message you could imagine? That would have fucking been a meme. But you decided to fucking have a meme that only 15 other people fucking understand. Congratulations, you fucking fringe gatekeeper bitch. But you know what? Instead of being depressed and sulking, I decided I realized something. I'm purging them out of our fucking community is what we're going to do. I'm purging them out of our community. And look at this troll who just followed me. This guy's made 700 accounts to troll me. And you guys gave him the victory. I did take that L. Infrared took the L. And all our enemies won last night. They're all laughing and they all won. Our first L ever. Because of you. The only fucking people who can sabotage us are the people we falsely associate with our own community. The enemy doesn't stand a chance. It's only people within who stand a chance against us. It's only infrared itself can sabotage infrared. You the fucking community. You have the power to fuck us. Because you made us. But you know what? It's not fair to me to, for me to blame the whole community. So tonight... We're going to have fucking justice. Look at this cuck. You didn't deserve to win. The people decided. Banned. No, I ban him. Ban him permanently. I never want to see him in the chat again. You fucking dumb bitch. The people decided. So we're going to hold him accountable for that decision, you dumbass fuck. And that wasn't the people. Lefty poll is not the people. Our people are watching Jimmy Dore. Our fucking people are apolitical. Our fucking people don't know about us yet. Our fucking people are the untapped reservoir of thousands of people who need to know about infrared. Not you, you gatekeeping bitch. You're not the fucking people. You're a fucking clout kulak who's hoarding fucking clout like a little fat bitch. And you're the fucking gatekeeper preventing us from growing. You are not the people. Shut your stupid fucking mouth. Yuda, fuck you. Fuck you, Yuda. You were the first fucking... You and Ginjit were from the very fucking beginning clout kulaks, Yuda. And someone linked the thread in Discord. So I looked at that thread, Yuda. Go ahead, Yuda, make your own fucking stream. Like how you were planning. And good fucking luck, you fucking parasite. All you've ever fucking tried to do is fucking steal from infrared and try to get your own clout. Yuda, you're the most boring fucking person I've ever had on the show. The most boring fucking person. And that's why you've, I've never let you come on again. Because you're fucking boring. Trying to grow your own brand using infrared for lefty pull. Because you're a clout. You're a clout kulak. You're hoarding a tiny bit of marginal clout. You don't give a fuck about reaching the thousands. You don't give a fuck about reaching the people who don't know about you yet. You only want to fucking consolidate your fucking stupid lefty pull fellow bitches. Fuck you all. I don't want any lefty pull viewers except neat feet. The rest need to leave. The rest need to leave. 
And we are gonna call this herd. I don't care if we go back to 20 viewers. I don't fucking care. We need to get our guerrilla army back. And we're gonna purge the shrimps. We're gonna purge the traitors. And we're gonna grow organically once again. We're gonna call the herd and expand organically. Because too many of our army are a bunch of fucking gatekeepers. Circle jerking about dumb insider jokes. And don't actually fucking care about opening the gates so we can grow and expand. So it's gonna seem like... Like I'm purging everybody and everyone's leaving, but that's only so we can make way for the real ones to fucking join us. They're on trial tonight. And first, we're going to talk about our judicial paradigm and the theories behind the current judicial system I'm about to implement right now. We're going to fucking talk about the law of the gatekeepers. The law of the gatekeepers exposing sedentary parasites. You understand? You want to know why? Because we're nomadic. We are a nomadic army, mobile, on the fucking run, all the fucking time, conquering one by one all of these fucking streamers and stealing their views, looting their villages, stealing their views. That's what we're fucking about. But these sedentary parasites like to be comfy and cozy. And they, fuck you, bitch. You know what? You want to know why they like being comfy and cozy? Because when we're small and complacent, they gain a certain level of clout within our own community. And they're fine with being kulaks, just hoarding the grain. They don't actually care about us expanding and fucking growing. They care about what little fucking small clout they can get in this dumb echo chamber, circle jerk fucking bubble that they've turned our community into. First, Ginjit, Yuda, all those fucking lefty pole people. It's gotten to a point where if I see someone goes on lefty pole, banned immediately. We don't fucking want lefty pole anymore. They're a bunch of gatekeeping cucks. Their stupid, disgusting website, their dark website, has never gotten them fucking anywhere in years and years. And even when I turned my back against them and said, fuck lefty pole, I'm done with you, they still can't get off my dick. What's it going to take? What's it going to take? We have to start banning them. That's what it's going to take. Banning them on the spot. How, what do I need to say to my crazy ex-girlfriend, Lefty Pool, that I don't want you anymore? And yes, to me, it's worth it if I... if I don't even know how many of you are, but it's worth it if that significantly decreases our viewership. Fine. But I highly doubt... You comprise a big portion anyway. You are fucking clout kulaks, a loud minority. And now I'm going to teach you about the fucking law of the gatekeepers. Here's the law of the gatekeepers. Four simple stages that define the law of the gatekeepers. Ready? First, they act like your friend. This is the beginning when Lefty Pull liked us. Witnessing our growth. They feel you are merely affirming their own marginal and fringe position in the world. They feel like you are basically giving them affirmation and making them feel good about the fact that they're fucking fringe losers who've never accomplished anything. And by the way, guys, that's what they wanted to turn infrared into. They wanted to turn us into a fucking... Just like leftism today. Leftism today, he gets 10 viewers per stream. They all come from lefty pool. And they basically love the fact that it's this circle jerk, marginal inside joke. They don't care about reaching the people outside of them. They wanted to turn us into a lefty pull type of meme that only they know about. That only fucking they know about. They don't care. They don't want to see us grow to the stratosphere. They want us to stay on lefty pull and dwindle and dwindle in size until we're nothing. Then, they witness your platform becoming more accessible. All the normies are coming. Normies, re! Fuck you, bitch. You fucking clout kulak, bitch. This threatens them because it undermines their own special privileges as clout kulaks of a fringe subculture. 
Ah, yeah. Because they see themselves becoming irrelevant. For example, Ginjit. Ginjit when he got mad that I went on the show in the first place. Or Eudaimonia. Eudaimonia, who's always trying to fucking dictate the terms of this stream intellectually, even though they've never fucking amounted to anything on their own, and never fucking humbled themselves, and realized we actually know what we're fucking doing and they don't. And Yuda, who I actually saw in the chat in yesterday's stream saying vote for everybody but me they kept saying vote for this guy vote for this guy because yuda's a clout kulak and they feel humiliated at the fact that they have to be a soldier in our guerrilla army voting for us they want to feel special they want to feel like a special snowflake who's different from us so yuda kept going oh vote for this guy vote for this guy but not us because they wanted to feel special fuck you yo yuda get the fuck out of here all you're doing is harming me fuck off you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. So fuck off. You're only here to fuck me up. Go fucking get your own life. Then they start to oppose you. Just like they started doing. Ginjit. All these people. They attempt to leverage their kulak privilege against you. Portraying themselves. This is what leftism today did. This is what fellow traveler did. This is what all these fucking leftists did. They... they, they they leverage their kulak privilege that they've gained some standing in your community already against you, portraying themselves as representing the majority. In reality, they are a loud minority. And that's always how it's been. Finally, they are overwhelmed into irrelevance. We are in between three and four right now. Right now, we're in between three and four. We haven't gotten past four yet. As the silent majority of newcomers pours through the gates, they become more prominent and more numerous leaders in the community, replacing the comparatively smaller amount of loud minority kulaks who felt like they fucking represented you and they are the people. But even then, the threat remains that the law of the gatekeepers may assert itself again and the cycle will continue. You understand now? This threat of the law of the gatekeepers is the number one impediment to our growth. It's people who feel and become complacent and try to create gates and fucking try to make infrared uh, a fucking reflection of their own fucking fringe impotency when our fucking goal is to make Marxism-Leninism mainstream. So you have to be vigilant, fight the gatekeepers and fight the clout kulaks who are going to be on trial, aka Aaron Shrimps. And the reason Aaron Shrimps are clout kulaks and gatekeepers is because nobody fucking knows about that meme except 15 people in our community. And they imposed that meme on our fucking growth. We were fighting against that bullet girl. We were fighting against all those people in, in that fucking um, show. And they won. When you voted for Aaron, you voted for them. You voted for anybody but us. It's infrared against the world. Infrared against the world. Our only friend online is Caleb. Otherwise, infrared against the world. And maybe I'm missing some people that I'm forgetting in my head, but you get the point. As far as the people we've interacted with who are influencers, unless I'm forgetting someone, it's us versus the world. Caleb's our only friend. Us versus the world. It's fine. Aaron's been very nice. It's fine. She shows sympathy to us. But at the end of the day, it's about infrared. And you guys get distracted easily because you're shrimp, weirdo, fucking freaks living in your mom's basement who've never seen a woman in their fucking life. Women will come and go in your life. Infrared is something you need to defend. Because we are very, very, we're on a thin, thin line before we become nothing. Because we're so heterodox, so fringe, and so fucking unique that we are very fragile right now. We have to prove ourselves. We still have to prove ourselves. Don't fucking be complacent. We still have to fucking prove ourselves. All these people you simp over, they're temporary. But you're fucking over, you're fucking over this in the long term. Keep your fucking private life separate from this. This is not a vehicle for you to get pussy. It's not. 
And none of these girls you're seeing online will ever fuck you. They won't ever do it. So go download Tinder and go do that on your own time. Because we're not here for that. We will never be bread tube. We will never fucking be these sex positive communities who have discords where people hook up and shit. That's not what we're fucking about. So go do that shit on your own fucking time. Because we're here to grow. We're here to become powerful. Stop fucking using infrared to chase pussy. It's disgusting. Do it on your own time. Not this time. This ain't the time to be doing that shit. And the women who are in our community... If I so much as hear any of you, any of you doing that weird shrimp shit, you are so fucking banned and there will never be any coming back. No appeal, nothing. We will never be bread tube. There are no predators and no sex pests who will ever, ever be in our community. Ever. We don't ban people for ideological reasons, but we will never, never, never have sex pests. Never have predators. Never have these fucking bread tube disgusting freaks in our fucking community. Never. Never. You keep your love life separate from this. Don't fucking walk into our Discord thinking like that. All those memes you guys made of Aaron, banned. Banned. We don't do that here. We don't fucking do that here. You understand? We don't do that here. We're about Marxism, Leninism in the age of multipolarity and the post-COVID world. We don't do that fucking bullshit here. That's your private life. That ain't got nothing to do with this shit. Stop using this as a vehicle for your dumb, stupid fantasies. And maybe I should do self-criticism. Because I should have crushed this in its fucking cradle. This fucking Aaron meme that you guys were creating. I should have been more outspoken about it. And the only reason I fucking didn't is because I felt bad for Aaron herself. But you know what? After last night, now I realize I should have done it. I should have fucking done it. Crushed the fucking meme in its cradle. Because it compromised us. I wasted all last night fighting for you guys just to be humiliated. But that's okay. I took the L. It was a big L. One of our biggest, if not our biggest L in the whole history of our show. We've had nothing but W's. We've had nothing but W's. But now it seems like we're getting these L's. And it's because of this internal enemy we have. The shrimps and the gatekeepers. And I was thinking long and hard if I should even check the Reddit. Because this community needs to be punished. I didn't even know if I should check that fucking Reddit. Should I check the Reddit celebrating this community? Well, first we gotta root out the fucking enemies and traitors among us. I'm not checking that Reddit. That shit's gonna be put on hold. Let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you guys something. Tonight, we're thinning and culling the herd. We're culling the herd. Svad is on trial. He is on trial. I'm bringing on my panel of judges, because I'm not going to be the only judge. And this panel of judges, we're going to determine the fate of these people who I put in cuck quarantine for their shrimping. And I'm going to go through the Discord and put a bunch of other them in my jail. They're in jail awaiting trial. We're going to let them speak. And I'm going to sentence them based on the severity of their crime. And there is a chance they'll be banned. 
Castro Bordo, before I ban you permanently, you stupid fuck. Purging our community is how we fucking grow. Because these gatekeepers are the ones preventing us from growing. And yes, it's going to call us down to a lower number than before. But we'll rise organically and exponentially like before. The first time I had a purge, we fucking grew exponentially. When I first purged Lefty Pool. And I said no more Lefty Pool. A day later, we ex we grew explosively because I know the law of the gatekeepers. D dealing with the law of the gatekeepers is how you grow. Being a pandering bitch who just panders to everyone in their fucking community is how you stay at where you are forever. That's why leftism today will always be where he is because he's a fucking lefty pole panderer. Stupid lefty pole cucks who think they know more about this than me. When all they did was doubt me in the beginning. Fucking irrelevant losers. I don't need your advice. I need Jake Paul's advice. I need Logan Paul's advice. You stupid lefty pole bitch. This is an art you have no fucking familiarity with. This is a... This is a medium you have no familiarity with. You don't know how this internet attention shit works. You don't. This it doesn't matter how fucking intellectual you think you are. And everyone on Lefty Pole is an intellectual kulak poser. But even if you think you're smart, you don't know how this shit works. This is a whole new ball game. And please, go ahead and fucking try streaming. Go ahead and try streaming and see if you can get where I got. You bitch. I want you, Yuda. Yuda, please start streaming. Please start streaming, Yuda. Just so I can salvage in the humiliation of your failure. This medium is not for cocks who hesitate on the kill. Metaphorically. We're bringing our panel on. We're bringing our panel on. A guy named In Pursuit of Knowledge said cringe. I don't give a fuck. Go back to Destiny's fucking shit. He's on Destiny's server. I don't give a fuck. Alright. We're bringing the panel on. What's up, guys? Alright, let me do this. So, I'm gonna... I gotta pop this out. So, show. And how do I... Okay, here, pop out. Okay, I'm popping it out. And we're gonna have the panel on. I wish I could get rid of mine. Fuck, how do I get rid of this? Um, show non-video participants? No. Okay, we fixed it. Fixed it. Okay, our panel's here. Oh, it just worked immediately. Okay, perfect. Here's our panel of judges. And we are going, we're fucking BreadTube is on trial. Here's our panel of judges with me. BreadTube, we're putting these fucking uh, kulaks on trial. There's going to be blood for what happened last night. Yup. Yeah, no forgiveness. We're putting True. him on trial. Yeah. Hold on, I'm, uh, okay. Doing this. This panel right here. There will be blood, metaphorically. So where can I put it? Okay, we're going to get rid of the globe. We're gonna put you guys right here. This is the panel of judges right here. These are our judges and we're putting people on trial. What an egregious crime. Shrimping. Guys, we have to say shrimp on Twitch. Shrimping. For what? For what? <laughs> She'll never know who you are, you fucking loser. It's so fucking pathetic. It's so pathetic. It's so pathetic. Infrared took an L for what? We did take an L. Oh, well, she's part of our community, so you didn't. But only 15 people know that. Infrared only has one name. There's only one infrared. There's only one infrared. You know, we're not, we're, not, we're not doing this to make friends with people. We're not doing this to make friends. Politics is about power. It's about power. When you do that, you're cucking us. There's only one infrared. 
This is not about making friends. It's not about personal relationships. Let's get to it. Let's, Let's get, get to, to it. it. People are hungry. People are thirsty. Okay. So do we have a voice channel that the cucks can go inside? I have to make one right now. Create voice channel and private channel and cuck channel next. And then only resident cucks can be in this. Cuck channel. Cucks, go into VC to appeal your case, shrimps. And we need to put more shrimps into the cuck quarantine. So let's hunt them down. Let's hunt them down. Who are the missing shrimps that need to be on trial? Quick, we have to put them in quarantine. There was uh, that one guy, what's his name? From earlier today, Svad, Svad, yup, Svad. Oh yeah, 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 that guy. He's going, he's going into cuck. Profile. Is he not here anymore? Look at that chat. Look at that chat. Thirsty for blood. Of course they are. We need justice for what happened. Perfect. We need justice. Perfect. Justice for what happened. So Svad ran away averting justice. Svad ran away averting justice. Svad is gone. And his lawyer Guac Opera. Okay, we're going to let... Okay, Guac Opera. And I have to edit the settings for Cuck Channel. Um, okay, let me add member permissions. Add members or roles. Member, okay. I have to make an announcement telling everyone. All shrimps go into Cuck Channel. VC Channel to appeal your case now. Let's do this. We ain't playing around. We ain't playing around. Svad, I got him. He's going in cuck. Svad is in cuck. Svad is in cuck. Here they are. First up is Bad R Boy. We're going to see how he voted. We're dragging him up. Now, do not turn on your cameras when we drag you up. Move to. Hello? Order in the court. Hello? This is contempt of court. Active contempt of court. Active contempt of court. Banned for two days. Svad, your turn. This shrimp ran away. Contempt of court. That's if you contempt of court is a ban. Automatic. Automatic. Automatic ban. <laughs> Do not engage in active contempt of court. It's Hello? an automatic ban. Svad, you are hereby found guilty of the charges of shrimping for Aaron, voting for Aaron instead of me. How do you defend yourself and how do you plead? Speak! I plead innocent. Why do you plead innocent? Because I'm innocent. On what grounds? Because I didn't vote for Aaron. Ah, oh, you didn't vote for Aaron, and yet you were shrimping for her. Now, weren't you? Let's look at the evidence. Provide me the evidence in general for Svad's crimes. We're going to evaluate the evidence. We'll see. Come on, guys. Go in general. Provide me the, the evidence. Pull up the evidence. Let's see. So, Svad, you claim you are entirely innocent of shrimping and gatekeeping? Yes. 
Mm, let's see. We'll see. We're going to determine the extent of your innocence. I'm going to go to the panel. How guilty does he sound to you guys? Honestly, I don't, he sounds very, very shaky. He sounds very shaky to me. He sounds guilty? I, that's what I was guilty. thinking too. Guilty as shit. Svad has never mentioned Aaron. We're, nope, if you're in cut quarantine, you're guilty until proven innocent. Post the evidence, my friends. Post the evidence. Exactly. He wouldn't have been moved to Cuck Channel if he wasn't guilty. Let's get the evidence, guys. Get it rolling. He could have deleted his messages. Very true. Very true. Svad. Mentions. Svad. Hmm. Svad is on trial. Let me remember. Let me remember. Svad is on trial for a very good reason. Today at so like seven ten, he's on trial for a very good reason. Ah, I remember. I remember now. You, Svad, are a lefty pole cuck. You link the lefty pole thread, proving your guilt that you are a lefty pole browser, aka a gatekeeper, aka a shrimp, and a clout kulak. How do you plead? I plead innocent of being sus. However, I do admit that I am a lefty pole browser. Exactly! Now we're getting Not somewhere. Exactly. So you go on lefty pole, don't you, huh? Yes. Ah. You go on lefty pole. And why? Why do you go on lefty pole? Because it's one of the most uh, active communities about you. No, it is not. They are all clout kulaks, a loud minority, who've been nothing but a pain in my ass. Just look at Udamodia. Just look at Ginjit. I haven't heard what happened to Genji, but I just saw Unimodia got banned, apparently. Exactly! And why did Unimodia get banned? Uh, was he sus? I see you're not cooperating. Is that active contempt of court? Was he sus? Unimodia denied... The significance of the shrimps who betrayed us to Aaron and the shrimps who sabotaged Infrared's victory yesterday. Eudemodia actively voted against us and didn't even take it seriously. Eudemodia only ever talks shit about us. It seems your lawyer wants to ch chime in. So we're going to have to hear what your lawyer has to say. Pull them up. I'm pulling them up now. Move to... Fuck. Uh, things aren't looking very good for you right now. Things aren't looking too good for you. Greetings! So, Guac, you're his lawyer? Guac? Yeah. Okay, I have prepared numerous, uh, numerous points in my legal brief. Mm -hmm. So, first, I'd like to go over the uh, four stages of gatekeeping law. Now, you brought these all up, and I'd say that only really one of them applies to Svod, rather than four. So, you say they act like your friend, but Svod has been nothing but antagonistic this entire time. I'd say that means he isn't a lefty pull user who's out to fit in, but rather is just one set up. OBJECTION! All left, almost all lefty pull users are outright hostile to me, and that's why we ban them on the spot. But so you ban do. them on the spot, correct? Yes. All right. So I wanna, I wanna go into that further. So lefty pullers, you would, you would assume they are all kulaks, correct? Correct. Clout kulaks. Okay. But if you actually go back to 7:29 p.m., Zvod sends you the following message: "Has I don't have a mic now." 
does that sound like someone who's privileged or someone who does not have enough money to afford a mic? Clout privilege. Clout privilege? Clout you should know money. that on another- yeah, Justice Henry, yeah, let Justice I'm... Henry speak. Justice Henry, okay, please. Okay, sorry, I apologize. It has nothing to do with money. This is not a pity show where you're gonna get on here and brag about how much money you have. This has fucking nothing to do with money. This okay. is about clout. You wanna know what a gatekeeper is? It's someone who wants to protect their tiny fucking reputation on a tiny community like Lefty Pole and is willing to drag everyone else down to fucking do it. That's the point. It has nothing to do with his privilege or his money. All right, I understand that. But I will tell you that Svod has no clout. You see, there are two servers, the Rez and Stupid Pole's Reddit Discord server. Now, on both of these servers, more. Svod is absolutely hated. He is the, uh, he is the uh, what's it called, scapegoat for the server. All of its problems are directed at Svod. Svod has no clout to begin with. So there is nothing for him to defend. And if you see his messages on your server, they are all, uh, I don't know, not so, so, so cloud what you're chasing. Saying, what, what you're saying is he's a loser among losers. Ah! Like yeah, I'd say he's a loser among losers. Well, you know what? And I'd you know say what? that means he has no clout to chase to begin you, with. You know and what? a loser people, is what you people, want in your server. Some people, he is no, a... we don't want losers here. Yeah, you, you do. It makes you look better here. by comparison. We're winners here. We're winners here. He is a failed clout kulak, but a clout kulak all the same. Even he if he's an unsuccessful on one. People. He does an not have clout on lefty pull. And if he's unsuccessful, then there's no clout to begin with. An he unsuccess takes pleasure in being a loser. He takes pleasure in being a loser. Okay, so if That's he takes why... pleasure in being That's... a loser, no, what's the harm in him like being that. a loser? Objection! Like why don't you want someone like that? Down. He drags us down. How does he, he drag you down? down. He's That's filtering hard. out the other losers. He engages it's with them. It's fucking energy. It's low level energy. That's what drags us down. Also, he is a clout kulak in like... spirit. Okay. He is a failed clout kulak, but nonetheless, a clout kulak all the same. May I ask one question? Yes. Are the rules listed in the server in order of their importance? Why do you ask such a question? Well, rule number six is that saying anything illegal can get infrared shut down. So like Fed posting is a bad thing and that's yes. a bannable offense right Indeed. there. Would that be worse than most of the other offenses? Sure. Okay, so uh, granted we're doing that. Svod has never Fed posted, so I just want to build up his character in that way. And also, number five. Order in the court, it's an irrelevant point. Okay, it's, I'm, I'm building up to it. So number five is to be a human, treating others with decency and respect. So I'd say that is another a very important rule. In fact, rule number four, which says not to say the N-word, is kind of just a subcategory of that rule. We have to treat people like human beings. We have to be kind to one another. Uh, and how is it kind to Svod, a person with mental disabilities, to bully him so relentlessly, to put him on trial without an attorney, to make him represent himself when he is clearly of unsound mind and body? He Order in the court, the active contempt no of court, bringing up irrelevant fuck? points. What the fuck? You see, we treat people with human decency and respect. But this does not entitle the clout kulaks who have hatred and spite and bitterness to humanity outside of their dark image board. Now does it? Your point is invalid and irrelevant. And as to the question of Svad's mental disorder, Svad, elaborate upon what he is talking about. Cross-examination time. Svad? I would like to admit that this lawyer who you've provided me with is complete uh, plan and is completely misrepresenting my case. Uh, that I is not true. Guac is removed! Guac! Uh, clearly he's not of sound mind. He can't be making that... Guac is a false lawyer, and for that crime alone, we would cuck him for a minimum seven days. But the hammer, it seems, will fall on Svad instead. So Svad, go ahead and make your case. So the case as to why I'm not a clap of Kulak... The case as to your crime of being a lefty pull clout kulak, therefore a shrimp, therefore a gatekeeper, and therefore someone who objectively and in spirit contributed to our defeat last night. The only crime I admit to is to being a lefty pull user. All others I deny. And that is quite criminal now, isn't it? Somewhat. I mean, Indeed. if you're part of the CIA, then yeah. And how do you plead to your crime of being a lefty pole clout criminal 
and a clout kulak. How do you plead? Not going to lie, last night, uh, you kind of glue in the dark a little. Like, I was in my bed, and I had all the lights off. And, like, you emanated from my screen. You were, like, Active contempt of court! Svad has tested the patience of this court over and over again. So I hereby sentence you to permanent exile and banning! How do the justices in the panel concur or d uh, dissent? Concur! All agreement. Let it be done. Thumbs up or down, this is how we do it. Roman gladiator style. Unanimous concurrence! Svad, get the fuck out of this server! <laughs> we're not playing around here. You thought it was a game we're gonna show mercy? He's gone forever! Let's see. Let's continue. We we need this guy. You will go on trial or be banned forever. This is what I'm telling this guy in the cuck quarantine. Go on trial or be banned forever. You choose. You choose. I can't pronounce his name. Active contempt of court and uh, avoidance of the justice will be met with a permanent ban from our Discord. Don't forget that. He left. He left. Coward. Coward, exactly. Ernest Block. Get in VC. Your turn. <laughs> we're waiting. So as we're waiting for these criminals to line up and be brought to trial... Let us speak upon the egregiousness of the crime dealt upon infrared yesterday. What are your theories, justices, as to why such a disgusting and horrible thing could have happened? That on our second time appearing on a show completely foreign to our scene, where our only goal was to prove them all wrong by winning, these shrimps stabbed us in the back. What are your main theories? Bitch assness. Indeed, indeed. They're, they're like uh, you know every in every like community. There's uh, you know those people who don't get a lot of attention, right? And so the moment they get a little bit of attention from someone normal, they become completely desperate and pitiful. That's Pre how those people acted, and that's 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 how they that's how they fucked us over. Precisely, precisely. Precisely. We have a new notification. Bring on Trudeau. Trudeau, get in the cock channel now! Get in cock channel VC now. Get in now! We're waiting for Trudeau. And what is Trudeau's crime? Guac is defending Trudeau. He should be banned for his name alone. But we'll see what he has to say. We'll see what he has to say. This court will meet out the justice it needs to. One by one. They are shy. It turns out they're going to be banned. They're banned forever. First person getting banned? Add him to the VC manually? 
There's this guy, Lysenkoism Connoisseur. We're gonna bring him up. What's your crime? Um... Yes. Speak! Uh, yes, is your crime? My crime? I have, I have not done anything wrong, Your Honor. But I am here to defend... Wait, can you not hear me? We can hear you. Oh, okay. We can hear you. The honor of the shrimps. The honor oh, of wait. the shrimps. So you <laughs> seek to vest within yourself the egregiousness of their crime. Is that what you're saying? It is more so that I see the... Not really the like reason they did it. I voted for you. But I think, uh, let me see, what am I doing here? Um, We're wondering the same thing. What are you doing here? Shrimp Apologia. He seeks to cover for the crimes of the shrimps and represent them. You may represent them, my friend, but we will douse out justice with the wrath of a thousand suns upon you as we would all the shrimps in our discord combined. This is what you take upon yourself. That is that is part of the job. I expect to be speaking for the people who do not want to speak for themselves. So, yes. Basically, I'm just uh, trying to be like a lawyer here for the... Uh, what is taking um, shrimp? No one you're here. State Proceed. your case, then. You will fall by the hammer if you seek to own up to the hammer's justice as you do. Um, let's see. It looks like Ernst Block is ready to come up. We have Lysenkoism Connoisseur first. State your argument or be uh, banned permanently! Uh, let's see. My, my argument is that people are dumb and they make stupid mistakes. And, and does this like, excuse the crime? They, they think with their bodies. These are virgins. These are people who have never touched. We know a woman what in their they life. are. It does not excuse their crime, however. I don't. I don't seek to defend their crime, Your Honor. But I'm I hearing you're also understand. Jack seventy four. Jack seventy four. Is that you? Uh, yes, that is also me. That is my profile without an anime profile picture. I see. I see. Well, Kadefi, that's who it was. You were asking. Go on. Um, let's see. What was I saying? Ah, uh, yes. They're all virgins. Most of them have anime profile pictures. Th like myself. So in their plight, I see. There is no plight English. in being a virgin. You that, just have to have some confidence. That, Your Honor, these, these are Man virgins. up! Yeah. <laughs> They, they, they don't know what to do when a woman shows them kindness, like you said. They, they, they freeze up whenever given the slightest sympathy. And you think that's that's enough to betray the infrared show no, of in front not. of all those that, people and all their communities? I do not think that's enough. I think that the punishment that you're dueling out tonight is. Warranted, honestly. We must ban the virgins if they are so weak that they're going to undermine our guerrilla army in its tracks. Now, aren't we? The Coomers, the Coomers are a huge problem here. So, And how can we meet out justice against them if not banning them and exiling them permanently? Yes, I would say that's a good thing to do. So you make no further point. I don't know who's going to be brought forth before the court, but, um, yeah, I make no further point. And for wasting our time, you are going in cook quarantine for 24 hours! That seems fair. 
Now be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Pull up the next trader, Haas. Ernest Block. Here he comes. Ernest Block. Ernest what was the Block stated reason for your cooking? State the stated reason for your cooking. So my crime, that is? For your cooking, yes. Um, I guess it is because is? I'm a cool... For your cooking, yes. I'm boring and... Um, I guess it is because is? I'm a cool... For your cooking, yes. Who I'm has feedback? And, um, I guess it is because is? I'm a cool... For your cooking, Henry, yes. turn it off! Who... So who's on my jury right now? Is this you, Demodia? It sounds like you, the same voice. It sounds like you, the. Like ah, you, the. That's you, alt account, you, Welcome to court. And just to let you know, your sentence is decided beforehand. But we're still gonna go through the motions of a trial. I mean, it'll be like the Gang of Four, right? Let's do a show trial. Ah, you're gonna complain about a show trial. Justice will be served. So first, your crime, you, is being a clout kulak from the very beginning. But your second crime was that on the fucking Royal Nimbo, I saw your little comment saying, vote for some random Humegalol instead of infrared. Why do you not show unconditional loyalty to infrared while is it in the heat of battle against its enemies? What individualistic kulak tendencies within you lead you to do such things? I wanted smaller streamers to feel optimistic about their future. Fuck them! Infrared is a smaller streamer! Yeah, I guess what I think you're doing is a little overdone, right? You think we're overdone now, don't you? You think we're overdone when we haven't even I mean, started. And you you only know about us, Yuda. You were only at that show because of infrared. We're the ones who brought you to that show. And you did it to undermine us. Again, I'd be curious to hear the thoughts of the rest of the jury. Okay, hear the rest of the thoughts of the jury. Go ahead, one by one. Justice Henry, what are your thoughts? You know, you were you were one of the first people who found out about infrared, and that makes it especially, especially grievous. You know, that you're a traitor. What do you think my transgression is, Henry? Completely, uh, you know, my, my thoughts on this are, are very clear. Permanent ban. Permanent ban. I mean, we already knew that was coming, right? Come on. Come on. Elaborate. Okay. You can for do For spreading it. confusion. For going against the collective. For voting for Aaron. I didn't. punishment is Ever. a permanent ban. Never. So you say I you did didn't vote, vote for Aaron. She, no, 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 do not let Yuda get away with these Weasley lies. Yuda was in the chat actively promoting voting for other people. Even if they didn't vote for us, they were, the spreading, they were spreading malicious propaganda against infrared in that chat. Really, what did I say? Besides you said vote, vote for, for some happy random who megalol instead of us. Besides saying vote for happy lung, he has a good personality. Exactly. I'm curious to see where he goes. What else did I do? I saw that comment you made saying vote for them because you wanted to be Maybe special. Maybe he was a little more alpha than you were. Okay. And what do I care about your judgment, Yuda? Where have you ever gotten except parasitizing off of our good grace and us letting you on our show? You've gotten all the clout you have because of that. What clout have I really derived though? You've, divi you've, you've tried to build up a certain repertoire within our community and failed. You Kadefi, chill. They're not young. They're not young. Guys, they're not, they're not under 18. Chill. I'm I know they're not. I've seen their face. I'm 24. Okay. You know, I didn't ask to be involved in the capacity I was, though I enjoyed the opportunity. Um, I don't know where the sort of clout when I was. You do not unconditionally serve infrared's from. growth. You premise your sympathy, if even, of us by some intellectualistic bullshit. You don't believe in us. You don't believe in our growth as a platform. And you don't fight for us as a guerrilla soldier, but as an individualistic, intellectualistic, clout kulak. What say you in your defense? 
active contempt of court? Let us go to our panel of judges to see which sentence they seek. Permanent ban! Yay or nay? Yay! 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 Eudemodia, you are banned from this community for all time. And every alt you make will be banned. You are a clout kulak, one of the very original clout kulaks. And we will never tolerate gatekeepers like you in our community. Back to Lefty Pole! They're out of here! Justice has been served! Let's continue. Trudeau, get in cuck channel. Fine, we'll bring up the lawyer. Here you are, the false lawyer, who has not even been cucked for their crime of impersonating a lawyer, and okay. yet you seek to impersonate Trudeau's lawyer once All again. All right, actually, Trudeau and I are good friends. Uh, we share many servers. Together, then his so fate will be tied character. to your arguments. That sounds fair. That sounds fair. Um, I'm not just here to defend him from getting banned or kicked. I'm here to defend his character. Because I believe there is some serious character assassination. But to be sure of that, I would like to know exactly what crime my client is being accused of. I was not present at the cucking of Trudeau. It was then done by someone else. We so will we ask have... the general. General, why was Trudeau cucked? Now, before they answer, from what I understand, he shared a meme, and it was an ironic meme that was misinterpreted as being unironic. Now, despite Trudeau's name, he is not actually a, uh, he's not Canadian, and he also does not like uh, Justin Trudeau. The only parts of Justin Trudeau he likes are parts that I'd rather not say on stream. And what meme was that that he used. shared? What was the content of such a meme? Uh, I cannot actually be sure of that at this time. As you say, you know, I need to have the evidence and that has not been provided by my paralegals. But what I can tell you is that my client testifies that that was an ironic statement rather than an unironic one. My client did not post cringe. And when and did also, they post such cringe? I believe that was last night. Last night, the, as the gorillas were in disarray okay, and wait, we were sorry, betrayed sorry. and in a moment of defeat, okay. he sought fit to make light of the situation. Is that what you're saying? I might be wrong on the time frame, but he didn't exploit that situation. In fact, it was an entirely different stream of conversation. And while we're on the subject of past grievances... Check the logs! Yeah, gorillas, get the logs. the logs for us! And uh, while we're on the subject of mass, uh, of like past crimes committed by many server members, I'd like to go over the uh, concept of shrimping and why that does not apply to my client Trudeau. Now, first of all, he is not a virgin, like you said. You said many virgins have to act out because of this need. Uh, but my client is definitely not a virgin. He's had sex with many, many people, women included. And he's actually against simping and not safe for work content in his own Discord server. Why does Trudeau not muster the courage to speak for themselves? Uh, once again, Trudeau does not have a mic. And I can testify to this fact because many of our voice calls, even within the res or other servers, where he's not on the spot, he does not speak with the mic because he does not have one. So he and Svod are in the All his records are deleted. Our mods are saying he deleted all his records. Uh, wait, no, I see one posted. Uh... Okay, okay, wait, 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 sorry. So, the uh, thing he said in chat was vote hot woman. Now, he said it in all caps. This was a ironic Guilty. statement, not an unironic statement. He is mocking the people who would say that. If you've ever heard the I'm gonna coom meme, uh, that's one that we reference a lot in an ironic fashion, not in an unironic way. So when he but uses wait a moment, Skittle's name is in white. Are you saying Trudeau was in active contempt of their banning? Uh, no, I'm saying that Trudeau probably just got banned from the server, or he left because of the pressure, but he I did not. To not. Skittle is an entirely different person Oh, okay, than sorry, Trudeau. I thought they were the same. It would wait, seem. wait, so then the linked comment I have isn't even him, so that means he wasn't the one sent But it is him, they're saying it's him. Oh, Trudeau is that, also gone, and they are, is, are Skittle. Oh, okay, I see. Well, they're gone from wait. the server, completely. Okay, but I'm still here to defend his character. The I guilt just want you proves to all walk itself. away from this. 
Uh, I wouldn't say that's guilt proving. I'd say that was uh, extorted out of him. I would actually call a mistrial here because he was not po properly represented on time. In fact, I wasn't brought in until after you had already decreed him guilty before someone else's trial. I don't if you fair. want to unban Trudeau, you must bring me three guilty shrimps. Three guilty shrimps. That's three so guilty shrimps. Okay, bring well, them to me. My, I'm going to throw on my old client under the bus. Vod is definitely a shrimp. Who? Um, Svod, the guy you just banned. So he maybe was already banned. Count. We need three new ones. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me let me scroll through the server list and just. Uh, well, Lisandro just kind of posted a sus meme right there. Uh, so did Disciple Lisandro is exempted. Oh wow, that says a lot about clout. It seems like you're defending these people who have clout within your server. They have Couldn't a reputation you... that precedes them. That's correct. Oh, they have a reputation that precedes yes, them. Yes, they what do. You say that having clout in your server is detrimental. Lissandro to your has never stopped our growth. He's never I gate kept. Think... He's never prevented us from growing. He's but never isn't used he impeding his. Impeding our conversation right now just by existing and sending these messages. It seems like Lissandro is one of the biggest problems with the server as we speak. He is not a problem. Problem. Um, okay, Hayden. Hayden is... No, not Hayden, sorry. Uh, Agent of Chaos. He just said the word based. Now, based is a term that was used a lot on we left use this and... We use this term quite often. Yeah, but I'm exempting you because, of course, you have the clout. You have the personality. Of course you have, not. You have something that precedes You this are dilly-dallying and fiddling around the point. Three... Okay, Kate, wait, Cade used the word ho, a word that only a simpleton would know. So Untrue. Uh, okay, Bring well, me I the shrimps. Again here. Okay, well, I just gave you one. I uh, will disconnect you now. Oh, one wait, there's, life there's, there's for three. I will unban your friend Skittle so long as you bring me three guilty shrimps to pay right. for it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it by the end of the day. You got it, man. And right. you're out. This is your last yeah. chance. Oh, oh, am I still in? Okay. Dealing um, with the devil. Sorry. I Fool. Complete fool. Bastard. He will see by the end of the night. I voted for Aaron because she's an attractive female. He is being cocked. 98765 HP. Get in VC now. Or be banned. The crime is as clear as day and couldn't you couldn't be more guilty with your comment. You voted for Aaron because she's an attractive woman. How do you explain yourself, 987? Guilty. I, I love women. And what say you in your defense to the crime punishable by permanent ban? I, I'm, I'm guilty. I love women. Is that all you have to say, you shrimp cook? Uh, Aaron, please, please DM me. You're hot, Aaron. I hereby sentence you. Aaron, DM me. I hereby sentence you to permanent exile. And he's out of here. Let us continue. Check the fact-checking channel. Let's see. Svad is guilt has been proven. Yeast? Yeast? Where's yeast? Where's yeast? I can't find him. He's gone. Yeast is getting cocked and being put on trial. No doubt about it. Here he is. Yeast, come to court or be banned permanently. He's already here. We have factual evidence of you admitting to vote for Aaron instead of us. How do you plead? Uh... It was a joke, and I actually have evidence that I voted for you. Actually, I kept... Provide your evidence! Open. Provide okay, your evidence. Mute the stream because I have the, the echo. 
Uh, the evidence, well, should I DM it to you or put it in general? Yes, DM me the evidence. Uh, here you go. <laughs> Yeast claims to possess evidence. And how may I be certain that you didn't just copy and paste this same image from the one I have? Because you see, Yeast... I have that same image too. And okay, coincidentally, okay, that same image, image is stuck at the point of 126 versus 113. So not only have you admitted to voting for Aaron in the past, but you've also provided false evidence no, in, in the witness screen. of four sitting justices. <laughs> what an egregious and despicable crime. I can share my screen and show you the window. I kept it open. Specifically because I'm a doctor. Send it to me now. <coughs> uh, wait, I can't share my screen. Uh, Take a snip and send it to me. Okay. That, uh, that's what I just did with the... Okay, let me... Took a full screenshot. <coughs> and there's Yuda saying, vote Aaron. We see <laughs> Yuda. We see Yuda right there. Look at all these people saying voting Aaron. And Sevetse will get Hero of Infrared for saying, I like Aaron, but I'm not a shrimp. Clap, guys, for Sevetse. Clap for Sevetse. We just have a record of them saying that. Clap for Sevetse, a true guerrilla soldier. A true guerrilla soldier holding out for the guerrilla army. Clap for them. Let's see your so called evidence. Could have easily been photoshopped. Well, I just took the screenshot. And how the, did you the, still the have that window open? Uh, because I made that joke and you said you were going to purge people. And like an hour later, I realized I never closed the poll, so I kept it open. <sighs> it seems we cannot prove his guilt beyond reasonable doubt. But he was spreading malicious propaganda by stating to vote Aaron, joking or not. I, I said I was joking, like, just the, the message. But uh, the objective consequences and... of your joking was spreading confusion and spreading people to vote against us. No, I just wanted to see the reactions on my comments. Because, for example, if you go to my comments, Someone uh, reacted with a Chad emoji. I think that person is sus. I'm bringing you a potential shrimp. That's just... Who? You know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, wait, let me check before they remove it. Uh... Uh... You seek to trade your life for that of another. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty sure I didn't do anything either way. But... Ah, I see. But you were spreading malicious propaganda in favor of Aaron over us. Now, weren't you? Uh, oh, wait, because you put me in the quarantine, I can't see the general anymore. So I can't get Which to... user yeah. do you seek to incriminate? Oh, I have no idea. Just if you find my comment, maybe there's still the, the reaction, the chat reaction. On it. We stand before us two possible outcomes. Either you shall be sentenced to cuck quarantine for three long days, or you will be banned forever. Let's take it to our panel of judges. What say you, Justice Henry? We cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. Justice Henry, we cannot hear you. Your microphone is not working. Justice Henry is experiencing technical difficulties. It seems Justice Henry has been experiencing some technical difficulties, so we will have to ask Justice Merrick. What say you, Justice Merrick? 
So can you repeat the charges one more time? He is charged with claiming with... Let us look at the direct charge in the fact-checking section. Uh, ye yeast. Yes, I voted for Aaron with a Chad emote. Yeast. There's no room for irony. I have to say you are completely guilty and await your punishment. It was to see the reactions of people, what? see if they reacted with a chat emoji or not. What say your uh, your judgment, Mirak, as to permanent ban or three long days of cock quarantine? Well, Yeast does not seem apologetic. He seems to be trying to defend himself and stand by his actions, so I say permaban. Justice Hen uh, Henry, you're back. Yeah, I I, I, compl I completely agree with Merrick on this. You know, there's there's no room for for irony here. There's no room for jokes here. This is this is serious. You know, this is serious business. Because I mean, what 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 led to us losing that ultimately? It was enough people like you taking us for granted, thinking that this was a game, thinking this was this was a meme or a joke, and fucking us over. So you know, from a ban, from a ban. Uh, I said it was a joke in the beginning. Silence! Justice Evan, what say okay. to your judgment? Oh, sorry. Yes. There is a time and a place for jokes. There is a time and a place for jokes. In the heat of battle, amongst dozens of snakes, enemies, that is not the time for jokes. Yes. And for that, I think you should be convicted fully for the crimes you committed against the people and infrared collector. The panel of judges have spoken. What say you in your last leg of defense? So I know I said it was a joke in the beginning. What I meant by that is just that it's not true, basically. Uh, that's what I've been saying. I posted that to see the reactions. I was just trying to help you purge the Kulaks in advance. I don't uh, believe you. Any... You don't be... Look at the, the comments. There is a, a chat reaction. Banned! That's enough of that. We're not playing around here. And we told you it was going to get ugly. We must atone for the crimes. Of these fake gorillas making excuses and lying. Ban permanently! He claims to have found three shrimps. This will be his last chance. What Hi. say you in your defense? Thanks for having me on again. So I have identified uh, three shrimps on the server. Actually, more than that, but I'm only going to be going over three. And I'd like to prove that the shrimpery of the server actually goes all the way to the top. So we're going to keep with a short example. And this is from someone called Anarcho Stalinist KPF or KP. And during this entire thing, I'm going to try to uh, send all of these messages in the uh, fact checking channel if I can find it. Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so uh, first, okay, sorry. Here, I'm just going to re-snip these things because they're not here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, got it. So uh, first, this is the anarcho-Stalinist character I was talking about, clear, simple behavior. And even if that was an ironic comment about the chick in the profile picture being sexy. Where have you provided evidence? Yeah, yeah, it's in the uh, fact-checking channel on your server under stream channels category. Let's see. So right there, you have someone with an anime profile picture calling someone else's profile picture sexy. And this person, as far as I am aware, has not been sent to the uh, Cuck Quarantine channel. And I have another named Dylan This Stahl. was more than three weeks ago that you found Three weeks this. ago. You know, socialism and, you know, Marxist-Leninism. This, this is, is what happen. you bring us? Yeah, no, don't worry, don't worry. And that second example, that's a freebie. That's not part of my three. So you just have another infestation. Now, I want to go to someone who I indicted last time who actually escaped justice. Now, this would be Lissando. You see, Lissando, if you search Pokey, you'll find that she, uh, Lissando has posted many of these Pokemane gifs and memes. It's quite disturbing, actually, how many there are. If you look up eGirl, he's responsible for like half of these messages. So clearly, you have some shrimpery going on right there. And it's not ironic, because why post a like, 
saluting the flag thing of Pokemon. You know, you could do that with so many other uh, people. You probably have some cool Marxist Leninist. Lissandro, kind of get in VC to defend yourself against yeah, this so, potential slander. Yeah, so Lissandro, get in VC to defend yourself against this potential slander. <laughs> and Let while us he's hear. doing that, I have something even bigger, a bigger bomb, okay? So our based mods here, we all know that the usage of the word based is obviously based for the server. Hold but on, mod... Lissandro's coming. Oh, okay, Shut okay. up. Okay. Lissandro, this lawyer has accused you of terminal simping, a shrimping. Yeah, he's a real Sal Goodman over here. Thank you. So what would say you in your defense for sharing Pokimane gifts? Look, man, Pokimane was doing a Roman salute there. I don't think I was simping there. I think I was fast posted. Yeah, but how would we know you weren't fast, fast posting and simp posting adjacently? And Wait, also, like what? Bring... Sorry, go ahead. Lissandro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, do you want to take, take that like back? Posting. Take a yeah, what? <laughs> You were. I don't, what, I, I've what never were been doing? in court before. Well, that is a separate matter that we will have to investigate. But he was not shrimping, it seems. Okay, well, if you check the next uh, thing I sent in the fact check, uh, he's got channel, more of them. you'll see that he has 24 mentions of the word, word e girl. So, and what is your point? <laughs> uh, the point being that he talks about e girls a lot, even if it's ironic. There's obviously some kind of what are you uh, talking about? No e girls, never. No e girls. Now let's go. Let's see how many times you say no e girls. Now, not every. Let me tell time you something, you Mr. Lawyer. Only yeah. one person will walk out of this show unscathed since you dragged know. Lissandro into I'm this. I'm prepared to deal with that. Okay? Either you or Lissandro. Okay, Fight but, but to the before, death. before we get back into that, I said that it goes all the way to the very top, and I was kind of getting there with the base mod comment. Uh, but do you want to see something right here? Your server is being used to source porn images by a base mod. Neat Feet was asking people if they know which e girl is this person. They were trying to find that so they could jack off to this e girl. And that is a scientific fact. This shrimp Neat goes all the way to reputation the top. precedes him, and besides, it's he is not even crazy. online to defend he himself. Free. He's obviously, a character. Uh, you're misrepresenting his character. He is clearly a simp. He is looking for these e girls. He is trying you to use them. You are misrepresenting e Neat Feet. So he can come in here if he wants, but uh, he is he not online. He's him. sleeping because he lives uh, he's in Europe. Sleeping, huh? Europe. You know, Europeans are known for being sexual deviants. So I'd say that there's definitely a connection there. Yeah, but he does it for free. Okay, <laughs> that just means he's more desperate. You know, that that's kind of concerning. That you lawyer have guac, you but, stand but we can return to be to, uh, punished. Lysandra. For seven long days in cuck quarantine. Wait, wait, this seems unfair. First of all, I am not a cuck. Much like true. For what first crime? First crime, impersonating a lawyer. Second uh, I'm crime. I'm actually a law student right now. Second crime. So I'm basically a lawyer and I've worked at a law firm. Second also, crime. Hey, calling up law. false witnesses. Second crime. Know. Failing oh, uh, to I, produce evidence when you were wait, asked can to I get provide. a witness? Can I get a witness? I have a, a character witness for myself, actually. And slandering needs feet, I would like one to of our Pisado greatest supporters. To stand if he is available. If not, I'll take like Krug or someone. I don't know. I need someone to t defend me. Hey, this Can is one good of you content, guys get in though. here? Yeah, yeah. This is content for you. Get in here. Get in here. You or, are or a lawyer squawk. who squawk seeks a lawyer to good. defend okay, you? Okay, Pisado's coming. Pisado's coming. I'm getting my own lawyer. Okay? You cannot get your own lawyer. We're on uh, lawyerception well, right me. now. You're sentencing me. Mistrial. Mistrial. <laughs> This How dare you? I'm being sentenced without a lawyer? Actually, you actually, have come uh, here to tie. You have come here to defend the one they call Skittles. And you wait, were Skittles' no, lawyer, if you no, don't remember. Well, yeah, I am Trudeau's lawyer. And I think I brought up some good points. But you ignored those points and already banned him before I began speaking. I so did not I ban him. He left by his own volition. I proved three simps and you are in denial. 
No, you haven't brought you, me three you sims. You, you brought me three lies and slangers. They were not lies. They had screenshots. There is proof. You can still find those. The in screenshots fact, uh, are vul. Lissandro admitted, admitted to being in that screenshot. Lissandro admitted to that. He said it was fast posting. Is fast posting acceptable here? And one more. No, question. but that's not Have what we're here for court. We're not here off? to court for court. Lissandro posted a gif of Pokimane doing what appears to be a Roman salute. And this does not indicate a level of simping that undermined the infrared show. Okay. But and would you, you say slander neat feet? feet. But that's something he sent. I'd say that's not... But uh, we don't know the context or the meaning. That, He's not here to defend context. himself. In fact, oh wait, the original tweet is from him. Interesting. So he's screen capping a tweet that he sent and then asked us who the e-girl was. Now, what does that say about his character? That he's not just simp shrimping he did on the not server, use but shrimping infrared. on Twitter. Be it may that he may be a shrimp. He did okay. not use infrared as hey, a platform um, actually, for his shrimping. Squawk, Squawk is in the cuck channel right now. He's my lawyer. Could you bring him on just for a bit? No. Oh, that's pretty rude. We will try oh, Squawk okay. separately. I don't think he's on trial because he hasn't actually done anything, has he? I don't know. I'm not you, you will serve your sentence in cuck quarantine for seven long days. To be honest, I just came to the server for this. So Let I'll us go to our panel please, of judges. But, Justice right. Henry, what say you? Silence is complete. I mean, I mean, shut up, shut up, shut up. I, I, had a little, I had a few issues. I'm in complete, I'm in complete agreement with uh, sending some for seven days. I mean, first... He uh, he's not he's not a real lawyer, you know. Second, uh, the, when when he came on to defend the first person, the the guy told us himself that like he was spreading complete lies, you know. Um, and now he's slandering now he's slandering our community. So I think I think it's very clear. I think we're being very merciful, very merciful and very gentle here uh, by giving him seven days. Very merciful. Uh, that's, that's so you opinion. think he deserves a perma ban? Is what you're saying? Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. I do. I do. I do. You get him up against the wall. What say you, Justice Merrick? I say seven days for character rehabilitation. See if there's any improvement. If there's no improvement, firm a ban. Justice Evan? I second that. Mm. So it seems that if I tip the scales in favor of Justice Henry's concurrence, we would be at something of a standstill as justice. And if we are at a standstill, we will have a straw poll to decide your fate. And it so happens that I concur with Henry's judgment. So we will ask the chat to decide your fate. Let us get this straw poll rolling. One or two, or you want the whole thing? No, we want the whole thing. Sentence for fake lawyer. Seven days cock. Perma ban. Create poll. Twitch chat. Vote. Hey, where's the poll? You cannot vote. I'm just curious. You know, I want to make sure that this isn't rigged. We you sound very rigged. suspicious. You sound very suspicious right now. Mm. That, that's fair. I am a suspicious The words of a guilty man. Of a ban. The words of a guilty man is what we're hearing. Yeah. Maybe not. I, I don't think I'm guilty. But, you know, we'll let the people decide. I'm with the people. Mm. I'm on the side of facts and feelings. What a suspicious thing to say. So, what'd you guys eat for breakfast? I woke up at like. Uh, Do not exchange niceties with us. Active uh, okay. contempt of court. Order in the court. Have you guys seen Better Call Saul? It's pretty good. You have 41 votes so far for perma ban, and not a single vote to exonerate <laughs> you for seven so, days. That is so uh, biased. Did you like disable the second set run or something? No way. Oh, okay. Seven oh, wait. They just came in. They just yeah. came in. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. 61%. Thanks, and guys. No one against Nefi. He's a good Janny. He does it for free. He doesn't ask for any financial compensation for the uh, labor he's producing. 
Let us see if the Discord knows. Post this poll in the Discord. If they may not be in the Twitch chat, post it in the general. Post the poll in general. You guys play Val <laughs> Sorry. You guys play Valorant? I've been playing a lot today. I mean, I'm doing pretty decently. Just not that great. It's, it sounds like you're cracking up a little bit there. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm a little sweaty right now. You know, representing, you three, people, no, representing three people, including myself, back to back is kind of difficult. I'm going to take a drink of water. Misrepresenting three people. Um, okay, first of all, uh, I was told by my community to represent Svod, and he didn't actually like respond to me when I told him I was going to. And I think I had some pretty good points. I think I was closer to breaking through than he was. On the second Trudeau, he actually asked me to, so I did. And I think I represented him pretty well, but you all banned him before I even had a chance to speak. He and was then... banned on by the gravity and weight of his own crushing crimes. But you do don't not even speak know what his of our. Do not no speak one has, no one in has question. Even up do not dare judge the judges. We are okay, the judges well, uh, of this court. All right, all right. You fine, fine. are mere fake lawyer. Huh. I'm kind of tired, actually. It's like almost 10 p.m. Aaron! Get in VC, Aaron! I see you in the chat. You are also subject oh to the trial of this court. Aaron, get in VC! You are also under investigation and sentenced to court. Let us see the straw poll. It would appear <laughs> that the feeble-minded monkey army... Also, I know we're doing the poll, but I have a ton of character witnesses. I'm a great Shush guy, you know. Shush your mouth. I only have, like, two sex offenses. It would appear that the feeble-minded monkey army has voted in your favor for seven days, cuck. Weaklings! I'll take it. You Weaklings! Know. I think the poll was a bit biased, you know. And I asked know, for men, and, and they option. sent me boys. Thank you, boys. I appreciate it. Uh. You disgrace. And if were it up to me, you would be banned for all time. All time? That's a while. Now, okay. enjoy your cuckery! Lissandro, yeah. we will deal with you in the future about your so-called something posting. But as it stands, you are not guilty of simping. Yeah, can I go back in general? I want to ship post. Yes, you can. Goodbye. It would appear that the guilty as charged is in the show queue herself. Before we bring her in, before the trial's commencement, what does the panel of judges say as to the extent of her crimes? You Just know, I, I, I saw a pretty damning screenshot going around of her asking people in our Discord to vote for her, so I think the evidence speaks for itself. Hmm. Uh, one moment. We have to uncuck. Who cucked Lissandro? Mods, uncuck Lissandro. I don't know why anyone cucked him. Is Lissandro really cucked? Mods, uncuck Lissandro. Just uncuck him. Uncuck Lissandro. Let me tell the mods. Uncuck Lissandro. Okay. Uh, sorry, Justice Henry, continue. And yeah, I, I think uh, the screenshots I saw, you know, were very, her very, very clearly telling the people in Discord to uh, vote for her. It had a lot of reacts. And, um, you know, if she's, you know, supposedly a part of, uh, you know, Guerrilla Army, Infrared, there's only one infrared put for her. So I think that's very, very suspicious. Very, very, very suspicious and very condemning. That, those are just my, you know, that's, that, it just seems to speak for itself to me. Hmm. Justice Merrick, what say you? I see Aaron as a usurper trying to steal the crown of infrared. Right now, she's enemy number one of our show, and we must deal with her appropriately. Justice Evan, what say you? I uh, know. 
for the thoughts. I'm in agreement with our justice. Mods! Remember! I don't even know if we should reveal it. Dwin, you are going in cuck and you will be held on trial for defending a guilty party. M Compile all the ones who are defending the guilty. They will be cucked and put on trial themselves. We've just exposed the shrimps. Already defending the condemned and accused. Kadefi, all of the accused, put them in, sh put shrimp them. Put them in cuck. They must be shrimp. We have evidence, factual evidence, proving her guilt. Let us drag her up. Hi. You are hereby accused of spreading malicious propaganda for our community to vote for you in the stead of the infrared show. What say you in your defense? Oh, that was just a joke. I knew they'd vote for you. I'm, I was honestly so surprised. Like, I was shaking. Liar! Was so caught off guard. No, I'm serious. I would never do anything to, like... You have been winning. cultivating a secret army of your own to ultimately overthrow and undermine the internal infrared showrunner collective, now weren't you? No, actually, a, a lot of people have been, uh, like, giving me a lot of really good information about, like, uh, Marxist Leninism because I, I don't really know all that much and I really appreciate learning and I find your show really informative and I, I know, do I really not like trust that's okay the sincerity of your claims that's fair yeah no um no I totally get it yeah I'm I genuinely feel so bad that you lost like that was super fucked up and like but the fact you that they muted the you for like an spurred, hour that was bullshit you are the one who spurred my loss because we showed mercy upon you instead of treating you as one of our enemy contestants. And you took advantage of that and steered our guerrilla army into ruin. Well, I'm sorry about that. I really didn't mean to. What say you in your defense? Um... I don't know. The... The me, like, the... My exact quote was, vote for me, Pepe laugh, because it was a joke, like, I knew you guys wouldn't simp. Uh, you knew the contrary. The thing. Have you not been presented with evidence of people in our community shrimping for you and making memes on a regular basis? Oh, I, I just thought it was funny. I don't know. Hmm. I thought they were just jokes. You knew you were winning and poisoning the minds of our guerrilla army. Now, didn't no, you? actually, a lot of my friends have uh, started watching your show actually because i was talking about it because i i genuinely find it so interesting learning about this stuff and i don't know it's opened my eyes to a lot of really interesting theories and stuff like the genetics thing um yeah i don't know i didn't mean to steal votes and i know that's exactly what i did but in the future i promise not to there even will make be jokes no future. about it we will no longer be appearing on such a show after the calamitous humiliation and defeat dealt upon us on the, the real Nimbo. That avenue has been closed. Oh. Well, he loved having you on the show. I hope you know that. Even if you don't come back, just know you're always welcome. Of course, we did. We were that show. True. Yeah, you guys brought in so much attention. Like, it's honestly insane. Like, infrared definitely is on the rise. And uh, even if I end up being guilty here, like, I, I'm going to still support you. In Do some you way, entertain so. the possibility of having been sent here by Vosh and thoughts I, to undermine no, us actually, from within? I can very much confirm that I'd never heard of Vosh until you told me that you beat him. But our enemies are so numerous, and yet you show us sympathy despite knowing nothing about us. Well, Why yeah, because, uh, because I'm interested. I, I'm extremely curious because you are clearly like extremely knowledgeable in this subject and I'm not and I would love to learn more because I don't know the way that they treat you on the show is kind of like really fucked up honestly so and yet you used know. our own viewers against us uh that was not my intention um I appreciated it but they definitely should have voted for you like I'm not saying that they should have voted for me in any capacity and I probably Only should have posted you but I was, was just done. so confused that I won that I was just like, oh, let me just toast my friend because it's her birthday. But, yeah. 
I probably should have hosted you after because you definitely deserved one. We did not want to host. We wanted a victory and you stole that from us. I apologize about that. I had no intention of stealing the victory. I genuinely thought that I would lose. I just like being on the show with you. I think it's fun. I love talking to you. Not as like simp talk. Sorry, that sounded real simpish. Uh, sorry. I just, I, every time that you talk, I learn something new, even if it's like something small, so. You have misunderstood the infrared show. We I are not have. nice people. We are a nomadic are nice. horde of barbarians. But you can still be nice. You guys are like insanely supportive of each other's opinions. I, I really like the community, to be honest. And yet you weaken us and turn our guerrilla army into tiny monkeys. I, um, if I do, I totally understand why you're angry at me. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's not my intention. I just want to, I just want to learn. Justice Henry, what say you as to the judgment? Regardless of Aaron's intention, she's objectively so discord and division within our community and shown us our weakest elements. For that, the only thing that can cure us of this, this calamity that's been brought upon us is a permanent ban. That's my position. Oh. Justice Mirror. Understandable. So long as Aaron is here, we cannot guarantee there will be no agents, no fifth column, and so unfortunately, we must cut ties. Oh, Justice Evan? Perma ban. What say you, Aaron, the guilty, um, the hammer, dwindles oh, I mean, upon you? If, if you personally feel the need to ban me from your community because you feel like people... I, I just don't see us ever interacting in a competitive way again if you're not going to be on Nimbo's show again. So I don't, I don't really see the need to ban me because I, I've learned so much from your Discord. I've gotten so many awesome recommendations. Like uh, someone sent me a... Uh, a lecture yesterday. Uh, Here stands the true judgment. Our community is a nomadic horde that must always be on the move and cannot tolerate any shrimping or distractions or weakness. And regardless of your intentions, you have been a source of weakness and discord and shrimping within our community. And our gorillas need to learn a lesson and toughen up. You are hereby permanently banned. You hear that, shrimps? She has been banned forever. Please, mods, bring me the ones who complain about this decision. Bring me the ones who object. Bring me the ones who seek to reverse our glorious decision because they reveal only their own guilt. Let the trial continue. Get in VC to prove your innocence or be banned permanently. Here he is. You are hereby charged with the crime. You are hereby charged with the crime of objecting to the decision of a legitimate court of the infrared show and shrimping for the accused before the sentence was even laid out. What say you in your defense? How is it shrimping? I just thought it was unfair, you know? Why do you think it's unfair when you are not a sitting judge to sit in judgment? What is so unfair about it? Of course, I recognize your authority as judges, but I don't think Erin herself is the problem. It's how the community treats women in our ranks, and she just wants to be a regular member, and she doesn't want to... And how may I root out the shrimping and weakness of our community, if not making an example of the one they shrimp for? 
I, I think that's a, that's a legit uh, method, but not a perma band. That's not fair. She was very interested in our staff, in our community. But the more she stays, the more shrimps will orbit around her and cause so division and weakness within our guerrilla army. Yeah, but that's not her fault. It's just the nature of females. In, it in does the... not. What do you mean? I mean, if... If any female, it's not about Erin, but if any woman was like... We ban those who shrimp us. for women. There are women in our community. Yeah, but do not ban the women. Ban the shrimps, not the women. Has, but Erin, uh, there is factual evidence of her guilt. As you can see, she said, that's vote true. me. Yeah, that's true. But she apologized later. I that, think does not, just... um, that does not amend the crime. If I, I you don't... steal from the infrared show's reserves and we starve for a night and then you apologize does that amend the crime of course that, that it's, you it's prove your guilt by coming on here and being the lawyer of someone who has already received the proper sentencing i'm, I'm not a lawyer i just think the situation was handled wrongly Maybe Kaka for two weeks or something, but don't ban her permanently. What is your YouTube username? Um, the same, same as here. You will remain in cuck until you write something that convinces us that you are no longer such a weak shrimp. Be gone! Comrade Gaga is in cuck? Why? Comrade Gaga, what do you stand accused for to be in cuck? Oh, are we talking to me now? Yes, you are on trial. Uh, okay. Hi. Um, I think I was cucked for expressing... Um, pro errant sentiments, I think. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Let us uh, see the evidence. Bring I me the evidence. Sure. Find the evidence, guys. By the way, Haas, I like your show. We will see as to the evidence. And you know, shrimping is the most egregious of crimes in um, this Discord. Yes, uh, I would like to point out, and I'm not sure if it's irrelevant, but I don't think I qualify as a shrimp, but, you know, let's see what you come to. Hmm, fair point. Fair I'm willing point. to accept your decision. I'm not going to sit here and whine and bitch like some other people have been doing. We need the evidence to see precisely what it was you were guilty for. Banning a woman for the weakness of men. <laughs> Sorry. What do you consider a better solution to this crisis than um, the one we okay, came to? Okay, so... Oh, gee. Um, I do think Erin should be banned because I do see she's kind of divisive for the community. But I also think... her crime of saying, vote for me. Yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff. Um... I do kind of feel a little sympathy for her because I don't know if you recognize me, but I'm pretty active on the Discord. And the Discord is overwhelmingly male. And I see like a lot of um, incel posting. So I think I felt a little sympathy for, you know, Aaron as a female on the receiving end of sex pestery. Hmm. What an unfortunate situation. Your argument would be valid were it not for Erin herself promoting her own victory on the eve of battle. Yeah, um, I agree. I agree that she should be banned. And I think maybe my comment was, it was more of a tongue-in-cheek kind of like well, a... Well, your comment is not enough for the role of cockery. Thank you. But we will uncock you. And you are hereby found not guilty. Goodbye. Okay. Next. What do you stand accused for?
We cannot hear a word of, out of your mouth. You, you are saying nothing. Is this act of contempt of court? No, dude. Ha, ha. <laughs> He's having mic issues. Fix your fucking mic. This is the equivalent of coming to court in your underwear. It looks like No Dude Haha ha has a public defender, uh, Gator Gator Blade. So he Gator Blade, in get VC. in the show queue. Get in here. So far as he is not in VC. Okay, there he is. Where? Here. Uh oh, it's Yakub. <laughs> Gator Blade, no nonsense. Hello, hello, friends. <clears throat> Adjust shirt. How are you guys doing? We are the judges of this panel. It is none of your concern as to how we are doing. Only that we seek to douse out the necessary justice deserving of the crimes in question. That is completely fair. Uh, who is my client again? No dude, haha, -ha, who has showed up to court in their underwear in contempt of court. Okay, let us see who this person is because I cannot find him. They're no in the show ha -ha. with us now. No dude, haha. -ha. They do not have a video. I, th I think I'm here. Can you hear me? There, they're here now. No dude, haha. -ha. What do you stand accused of? Uh, I th I think I'm accused of uh, making. One sec. Let me kill this stream. I think I'm accused of making jokes through the improper channels. I was treating general chat like Twitch chat. Imagine being Aaron and randomly being put on trial by a bunch of weird communists. <laughs> yeah. And you find I mean, this I funny. Myself... You find this funny. Humorous. No. My client, my client, uh, plead. Uh, he doesn't represent me. I, re I represent you. My client. Uh, wait, please, another please fake innocent. lawyer? No, no, no. I'm a real lawyer. I'm a real lawyer. Trust me. He says he does not. You do not represent him. I cannot force because, upon him a lawyer. he's afraid. He is afraid. He is afraid of the Yakubian pill. He does not want me to defend him because he knows I'll get him off too easy. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you are lucky I do not cuck you for this. You are lucky I do not cuck you for this waste of the court's time. Let us continue. No dude haha. -ha. You claim to imagine being Aaron and randomly being put on fire by the man communist. But imagine being infrared and being betrayed as egregiously as we were last night. Imagine putting your face on a show for hours and hours and hours just for your own community to betray you by voting for someone they put on a pedestal just because they're shrimps and weaklings. What's yeah, up with your defense? Isn't the, uh, shouldn't you ask me, um, maybe what I've done for the party? Isn't that one of the... There is no party in things. question, quick speaking nonsense. We are in an active court. Order in the court. I would just like to say it was, uh, it was an inappropriate, inappropriate joke. And, uh, I do believe in the infrared message. And... I say you be permanently banned. Let's go to the trial qu panel of judges. Justice Henry, what say you? Permanent ban. Anyone who's showing sympathy uh, for the accused, anyone who is, uh, anyone who is trying to attempt to judge the judges or making a uh, tomfoolery out of this, will be permanently banned without exception whatsoever. Justice Mirak, what say you? Permaban, permaban him right now. Justice Evan? Permaban. That's fair. <laughs> Thank you. And you thought we would be lenient on you. Ban permanently! As if we're playing around tonight. 
The weaklings and shrimps must be purged. Let us see who else we have lined up. Let us hunt for more shrimps. More evidence of those shrimps who attempted to show mercy to Aaron the accused and guilty. This is where all the all the all the real shrimps come out after she gets banned. This is the the perfect evidence of who is and who isn't a shrimp. Perfect evidence is crystal clear as day. Crystal clear as day as we could find it. No better evidence than this. Hmm. Let us look up. I'm scrolling through the Discord. And they're deleting their messages. Hmm. Hmm. Shuffle Kitty the Cat! Get the fuck out of here forever! Ban permanently from our Twitch chat! Sick of seeing those cats! And that coffee! Let us continue. Let us continue. Squawk, remove Aaron. Ah. Hmm. Peter Seether is a fucking incel. Peter Seether, you are getting cuck. She is manipulative and scheming as all women are. But being an incel is almost as egregious as being a shrimp. You are cucked. Peter Seether. An incel is just a shrimp who's like given up and lost motivation. An incel is a failed shrimp. And we will not tolerate them in our guerrilla army. Incels are the reason we lost. Because they are incels in their heart. Because if they were getting some action, they wouldn't shrimp for some random person on the fucking internet over the infrared show. Now would they? Stannis seeks to go on trial for being a neocon. Get him in there! Get him in the cuck channel now! Guac the lawyer is in cuck channel as though his sentence has not already been meted out. He risks permanent banning is what he does. He risks permaban, is what he does. Fact checking. Doc! Doc, get in VC! We, you stand contempt of court. You stand accused of shrimping for an accused party on the eve of court. What say you, Doc? Of court. What say you, Doc? Turn your All feet right, back so. off. Of court. What say you? Turn your feet back off. Oh, uh, how do we do this? Turn your feet back off. This is the equivalent of running in court and farting very loudly. All right, so. 
Hello. Hello, hello. You stand accused of saying, I feel a little bad for her. Sympathy for the accused. All right, so I have a perfect justification for this. In chat earlier, I was spamming, purge those who ask for mercy. Where are you now? Where is the evidence in support of this? It's in Twitch chat. If you can scroll up and search my name, Doc Sick, I have said these things. Mods, is he lying? And what is your point? You still said, I feel a little bad for her. Now, didn't you? Showing sympathy. I'm in favor of, I'm in favor of eliminating her from the community. But that doesn't mean I pity the enemy. Why do you sow shrimping instincts in our guerrilla army? I think pity is more of a human emotion than a shrimping emotion. Wouldn't you agree? No, I feel as For though in this context it is precisely a shrimping emotion. Let us consult our resident shrimping psychologist, Justice Evan. What say you about this claim that... It is not a shrimping sentiment. Sounds like something a shrimp would say. Indeed. And you would contest the words of a, P a person with a PhD in the disease of shrimping and who has been honorary uh, scholar of Harvard University class of 2013. Your word against mm. his. I can only stand for what I think, but I do pity the enemy. I still ask for her to be purged and purge those who ask for mercy. I did not ask for mercy. Why did you feel bad for the accused and the guilty? If someone on the enemy lines, someone who despite their affiliations, still has a human face, is lying before you before the sword. Do you not feel bad for them? As you strike them down? Gorilla is pity soldiers not a human emotion? Not, gorilla soldiers cannot feel feelings of pity while in the midst of the heat of ba battle. Now can they? Then I must inure myself to the heat of battle and destroy our enemies, vanquish them without mercy, the next time the opportunity arises. I will not commit the same mistake, Commander. You have put me at a standstill. I do not think you should be permabanned. What say you, Justice Henry? I think a 24-hour cucking is good, good enough for this. He seems to, he seems to understand the error of his ways. Justice Murek. A corrective 24-hour cucking in order to fix his character. Justice Evan. Agreed. Yes. Any further cucking should result in permanent with no trial. You are hereby sentenced to 24 hours of cuck quarantine. I you accept this punishment. Do not commit it again. All you he challenges with all or nothing. All or nothing. This the meaning is that if you fail to persuade us of your innocence, you will be permanently banned. Is this what you ask? It is. That is what I ask. Let us all hear. Right. So I'd like to go over all three mm. trials. So Svod, you in that trial, you say that I committed the crime of impersonating a lawyer, but I actually have evidence to the contrary, that Svod wanted me to be his lawyer. And uh, I actually can't post images right now, so I'm going to upload this to Imgur and then send a link if I can, assuming it doesn't do the dumb, like, uh, ad thing. Okay, sorry. One second. Okay, well, anyways, I have testimony from Svod saying that he wants me to be his lawyer, or wanted me to. Uh, but we had a little disagreement on one of the points. 
But I can tell you that he is unsound of mind. And that is the reason he made that outburst in which he said that he didn't want me to be his lawyer. So I, I, I think that's very clear. But I'm now he's persuasive in a... to defend. Oh, don't don't the worry, guilty. don't worry. I don't even care about this one, honestly, because as I see it, this is the least of my crimes. The number one crime I am showing is exposing your hypocrisy in this courtroom today. Now, uh, I would like to first go over how you deal with the Aaron situation. Now, I wholeheartedly support the verdict that you reached, but there was two words that you brought up that made me question your entire verdict. You said the words, I'm sorry, before you sentenced her to a permaband. Now, what when does that did I show say, if I'm not sorry? sympathy and remorse? Can someone go back and clip that? Uh, I don't know how far back you can clip I do that. not I remember saying I am sorry. You definitely did. And even if it wasn't a conscious decision, your unconscious support of Aaron shows a certain degree of... Chat, compile the evidence, honest. clip it, clip it. If this is true, we will evaluate the context of my words. I also would like to say that the other... You uh, are no position to judge the judges, now are you? Uh, no, I'm judging your decisions, your actions, not your, not your pe persons yourself. I think you're all very fine people. In fact, why don't you hit me up after? I'll give you some Cracker Barrel gift cards, you know? Uh, so anyways, Cracker Barrel aside. Okay, when now, did Trudeau, I claim that Trudeau's I trial, sorry. there is still a huge problem with Trudeau's trial in that he was never actually given a reason why he's guilty. No evidence has been brought up uh, to actually support that he ever did or said anything. In fact... What I, say uh, you, Justice Henry? Ban? Yay or nay, guys? Yay! Permaban. Mirik? Permaban. Justice Evan? Permaban. Not my best work. You are exiled permanently! He's gone for attempting to make a bribe with Cracker Barrel gift cards. Pathetic. Punished Paparino. What dear you stand accused of? Speak! Active contempt of court. Permaban! Yay or nay for permaban? Punish Paparino for active contempt of court. Yay. 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 Unanimous. Banned forever. Now we have Stannis who is on trial for being a shrimp. Speak. Hello, Infrared, it is me, Dennis. As you know, I would like to, first and foremost, I would wish we let bygones be bygones. Secondly, I would like to testify. I would like to plead not guilty to the neoconservative charges. And thirdly, I'd like to report one of your moderators' neat feet for being a shrimp. If I, if I can start with the third one, that would be great, as I have a really For statement. accusing, yet again, one of our greatest moderators... I, I find you guilty of slander and slander. worthy a of a permanent ban. What say you, Justice Henry? He's guilty hold of on. slander. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Justice Merrick. Hold on. Has wait, 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 Justice right, Evan, can I do my can I do my statement? I have evidence, real evidence. It's not slander. <laughs> slander is when you don't have evidence and it's all bullshit. Ban forever. These cases just keep getting easier and easier. <laughs> nice try, CIA. More shrimps are in need of culling. More shrimps are in need of culling tonight. I know we didn't get them all. We're going to get them all. One by one. Fact checking evidence for shrimps. Korean Bolshevik. Korean Bolshevik, who would have thought 
that all this time you were the foremost traitor and he's not online. He is getting cock. I cannot find him. General, there's a bunch of them you skipped in fact checking. Who is run 32 DL? Run 32 DL. What do you stand accused of? Am I on? Yes, you are on. Okay, uh, you know, long time caller, uh, first time listener here. Uh, I, I'm here for guac. What? Yeah, I'm here to advocate for guac. A lawyer, a lawyer's lawyer's lawyer? No, and how I, many I'm layers lawyer. of lawyering are we going to have on tonight? Uh, no, I don't, I don't claim to be a lawyer. I don't know nothing about the law. You speak. For not only your crimes, whatever they may be, but for the crimes of Guacazel, you sp you must vest upon yourself, and you will be guilty of both at once. Look, I, I'm not a lawyer, man, but... Uh, you, you take know, up break, Guac's uh, guilt as your own. Davy Jones, Locker. I realize, you know, you're the booker, and this is your show, but I don't work shoot when I see one, brother. And this is some bullshit I'm saying here. And what's that bullshit? My man deserves a chance to defend his build here in this ring. Who does? Guac. He had his chance, and he no, fucking he dropped the ball. He, he needs, nah, he needs his whole crew, man. He's got a whole crew. We do not deal in crews. We deal with the guilty as they are accused. Look, you know, I know him. He's feeble-minded. You He's have a, a pack debt animal. To He pay. needs his whole pack. Davy Jones hey, Locker. How, how can you permanently ban this man? He's clearly insane, okay? The first conversation I ever had with this guy was about whether video games are actually interactive movies. What relevance does that bear in regards to his crimes? He talked to me about this for well over an hour. It has what no kind of relevance. Man would do that? No sane man would do that. Ban Run 32 permanently is my position. What say you, Justice Henry? Proto ban. What say you, Justice Merrick? Justice Merrick? Justice Evan? Permaban. Justice Merrick? Permaban. Any it's last it's words bad, my before your execution? With Guac Nation, Guacamole, forever. We're going to rock. Get out of here! Permaban! No mercy! Justice! is served let's see hmm we have a private message squawk squawk is on trial Squawk is being cocked for active contempt of court. Get in the VC, Squat! You stand accused of the heinous crime of shrimping in our oh. hour of need. What say oh. you in your defense? 
Oh, well, first off, um, I'm not shrimping. I'm merely here as a character witness for both Run32.dll. A lawyer's 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 I lawyer. am not a lawyer. Again, not, with the lawyerception. Not, listen, 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 Jack. If listen, you are I'm to engage lawyer. in lawyerception, listen, 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 then, right. then you the, must bear the, upon yourself the crimes of all the, the it, accused, you, which these means... Double standards, these double standards here, listen, Tubes. All right, the thing of it is... Okay, I am not here as a lawyer. I'm not here in legal representation. Double standards! I'm... You don't know who has the power here, now do you? <laughs> I, I know you have the power here, sir. But the thing is, I, again, I'm not here to... to uh, if to Merrick so much as smells the wrong smell and just feels like banning you, his uh, word stands. I know, but if Evan, if Justice Evan, if Justice Evan woke up on the wrong side of the bed and just decided that you must be banned, his word stands. Black lives matter. Listen, active contempt of court order in the court. If if you have any problem with what I'm saying, please bring on Posado. All right, Posado can also testify on Guac's behalf. Okay, but here's the thing. Guac is a good man. He, our server, the res, he, out of the kindness of his own heart, he paid for our Minecraft server out of his own pocket. We Guac were all took to upon pay. himself the, ch the position of all or nothing, and we held him to it. All or nothing, Guac? Are you well, sure? Well, well, and well, he well, said well, yes. Well, 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 well. You just passed judgment way too quick on him. You were not even listening to any of his arguments, especially the he part was where Spod merely declared him missed. repeating the so arguments. You declared him guilty in the first place because Spod dismissed him as his. He lawyer. attempted to defend the indefensible. <laughs> I understand that shrimping is indefensible, but you cannot charge a public defender for the crime in which that their uh, uh, that their client has been charged. Okay. You cannot charge you a public defender fall. for just doing their civil duty. You. And I'm merely just here to testify, not not as legal representation, but to just testify to the character of Guac Opera. He is a good man. He didn't do anything wrong. He was merely trying to represent an underprivileged, mentally challenged Pakistani American. You All right. will be banned. Listen, if you have any, listen, if you want to ban me, that's fine. Justice just Henry have, would say I'll just, you. I'll just have Posado come here to appeal for me, all right? My, my Cugino from Toronto, Justice my Cugino, Violet. my Paisan, my fellow Paisan, he is here for Violet. me. He is here for Violet. the Guac Nation. Silence! Silence! Silence. Ban. Justice Merrick. Contempt of court, Permaban. I am here active in court giving my testimony to Guac Opera. You cannot hold me in contempt of court. I may that is hold not how you that works. You can hear Evan? my voice, can you not? I am present. Justice Evans. This and wasting our damn time. Note to self, don't try to defend Guac on the infrared show. Ban forever! Let's see. Drag me to VC. I am an infrared whistleblower. What does that even mean? What are you here to whistle? Oh, infrared. So if the internet is a shop window or a storefront, people like Henry are the Wait equivalent a fucking second. I know that voice. His status. For their non-threatening service with a smile and their utterly sanded down hierarchical subservient mod-like personas. Call it what you will. People enjoy soft colors and retouched faces, cozy cappuccinos and non-competitive average intellects. Henry is a paid brand ambassador. He wears mod and Marxist labels to drive lifestyle sales to the type of depressed users. <laughs> Man <laughs> immediately. <laughs> and we didn't even need to vote on that one. The fuck? Dude, what was he even talking about? There is no end to these cucks. No end at all. Let us see who remains.
Stannis' friend wants to go on? I don't care if his friend wants to come on. Fact checking. Disciple of Yakub, get in the fucking VC to defend yourself. We have another lawyer. Passado, you risk permanent ban. If this is the path you wish to go upon, is it? Listen, listen. I know Squawk. I know Guac. I know Run. I love them. They're good guys. Squawk, he's my paisano. I love him. He's a great guy. And Just what lawyerception nonsense is this? This is unfair! Justice for Guac! Order in the court! Silence your tone. You stand accused of being a fake lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. I'm a character witness to Guac, Squawk, and Run. They're good people, has okay? And if they were such good people, why did they have such active contempt of court and posturing as lawyers and even have to repeatedly give in warnings? Glock, he helped you when I was down and out. What say you, Justice Henry? Easy perma ban. Easy perma ban. What say you, Justice <laughs> Merrick? All these rebels must be destroyed, perma ban. Justice Evan? Perma ban. I can't believe this. Unreal. This is unfair. Guac Lives Matter has. Justice is served! Each time we ban these shrimps, the guerrilla army regains its former strength and prestige. We're not there yet, but we're on our way to turning us into a real cohesive Tough army. Let us see. A tanky sheep. Oh, this will be good. This one will be good. What do you hear stand accused of? Um, I'd like my charges, actually. You what? I would like to hear my charges. I forgot, but I know why Wait. I cooked you. Then I'd motion to dismiss. Get the basis. logs. Get the logs, everyone. Find me the logs and put them in fact checking so I can remember why I cooked him. Get the logs. Put them in fact checking. So that I may remember the crimes of this guilty party. I see you shit talking and apologizing for the steps. See the where poet. post it so I may see. He 
it says it doesn't matter at all. Who fucking cares? It was boring as shit talking about the show. He says it was pointless. Everything that happened last night. I I don't see any simp apology、uh, in those in that record. You don't. On what basis? On what basis? Yeah. Claim that was molding. Why are those? Why are those statements? And you claimed that I am delusional. On what basis do you justify those claims? That you're delusional. That was. Ban him is what I say. Justice Henry. Power ban. Complete and utter power ban. Slandering Just... infra. Slander and slandering infrared is completely untolerated. Justice Mirik. This sheep sought to drive the knife in. In our moment of weakness, for that he must be perma ban. Justice Evan. Perma ban. Banished. No mercy for. The traitors. No mercy for the weak. Looks like we got a lefty pole guy in our、uh, cuck channel. Let us see. Who? Do you know why he was cucked? I don't. I don't know why, but I see he's posting、uh, lefty pole stuff. He's po-、uh, he's posting stuff from lefty pole. I'm a lawyer. Black Lives Matter. Yes, that is an image. You are a lefty pull, Clout Kulak. Yes. If you click on the image, or if you click on the link, you will see an image. And when was this posted? But you are from Lefty Pole, is where you found it from, now, isn't it? Uh, yes. And why are you on Lefty Pool yourself? Well, I got linked to it. Hmm.、Uh, this could very well be photoshopped. You know what? I think you are right. I have one. Well, I have one thing left to say. Wait, this was yesterday. This was yesterday. Wait, hold on. I can't find the comment. I can't find the comment. I looked. I、uh, searched. Aaron is based. It wasn't him. It was fucking photoshopped. Ban him for the crimes of the following: being a lefty pole, clout kulak, being a lefty pole, parasite, shamelessly, in falsifying evidence and doctoring photos. To incriminate one of our loyal mods, I sentence you to permanent banning. You know, Let us consult open, our judges. So it just sounds like you're echoing. Justice, Justice Henry, what say you? Perma ban for false accusations of her being a lefty pole loser. Justice Mirik, what say you? Perma ban for intellectual kulakery.、Mm. Justice Evan, what say you? Yeah, fair enough. He left. That will not stop him. Ban forever. Kadefi, it's not true. It's not true, Kadefi. It was doctored. It was a lie from Lefty Pole. Complete lie. Is there anyone else who stands trial tonight?
Wait, why is he not mod? Mod, bad, space guy. How will we ever recover from this disaster? This catastrophe you are now seeing on screen. We douse out the brutality and simplicity of justice. For you see, when I was fighting in the heat of battle, I was only doing it because I thought the chat and the guerrilla army had my back. And while they were talking all that shit to us, while Bullet was slandering us, and while all those people in the chat were talking shit, I thought, no matter what, we're gonna win. It doesn't matter that we have all these enemies attacking us. I have the strongest and most powerful chat on Twitch. But it turns out, I didn't have that army. I didn't have that army. It wasn't the most powerful army on Twitch, after all. It was an army of weaklings and shrimps. Excuses for men. And while we were called into the battle, they sent me shrimps when I asked for sons. And in the heat of battle, I saw the results as they were unfolding. And the world flashed before my eyes. I spent that entire night on that show, arguing with all those dumb people. And what did we get out of it? Betrayal! Shrimpery! Cuckery! All because of a stupid meme that only 15 people know about. And so, we will no longer be appearing on the real Nimbo. The guerrilla army must be trained, must be culled, and must be strengthened before I could ever have the confidence that I have the backing of the guerrilla army. But until then, there can be no trust. There can be no faith and hope that the guerrilla army has my back. When I'm fighting 14 stranger strangers on a platform on which I have never been on, The only people I have are the chat. And that chat decided to shrimp instead of support the show. I do not see the chat as the powerful force it once was, but a mere shell of its former self. All because you let some shrimping get to you. But alas, we know the truth. And we have brought the truth to the light of day. The clout kulaks of Lefty Paul were the ones who sowed discord and disarray. 
They were the ones who betrayed us. They were the ones who sold us out and voted for Aaron instead of us. And what is our lesson? What is our lesson? What is our lesson, my friends? Our lesson is that we have much training to do in the long war ahead. We must set up camp and we must make men out of these boys. We must purge the shrimps from our ranks and consolidate our army because our goal is to be a mobile force, not sedentary cucks. We are the nomads of the infrared show. CPUSA 2036 is our vision and we are here to conquer the American left. We have shrimps, weaklings, and tiny monkeys in our ranks, but we will turn men out of them yet. If not, purge them and purge the weakness within us. Our army cannot be anything but unconditionally strong. And this, this cannot stand ever again. Such a show of weakness, disunity, and disarray will never characterize our show from now until the end of time. We will not let this destroy us or stop us in our tracks. We were defeated, humiliated, and crushed. But we have only lost the battle and not the war. We have purged the undesirables from our community and they will never be returning. We will continue this fight until we have conquered the American left as a whole. Because this is infrared, a platform for Marxism-Leninism in the age of multipolarity and the post-COVID world. And our journey has just begun. We took an L last night, but it will be the last L we take. And on that note, we're signing off. <laughs>